Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to use the version 4 of Instagram, email, etc. We have been using version 2 for the long time and there are a lot of tutorials on our YouTube channel but for version 4, the newest version, there are very few. So first let me tell you what's the difference between version 4 and version 2. So the thing is version 4 used the GUI and it will extract the email only from their bio so you can see in here in this case there is an email in their bio itself so version 4 will extract this email but what the version 2 uses is it will use of the mobile version and it will there will be one button for email if you log into instagram on the mobile so the what version 2 does is that it will extract the email from that button but the problem with the version 2 is that Instagram is actually very intelligent and in detecting you as a bot and blocking your account. So that's the only reason we have done the version 4 and the version 4 is it is using the web interface so the Instagram blocking you is very low. So but the thing with the version 4 is it will extract email only if it is present in the bio. So in here in this demo also what it will do is it will go to the followers of the target account and it will see if there is a email address in their bio and if there is an email address it will collect the email address. If there is no email address then suppose this account has no email address so it can't collect. But if there is an email address in their bio it will collect that email and it will write to an excel file. That being said, let's see how it works in action. So first you need to do it, you need to do extract all. I have seen a lot of people are just simply opening this like this, but don't know that if it is with the zip extension, right click and click extract all and extract the file. So once it's extracted, you can see it like this. And the next click you need to do is just open this. So you can see here it will open this black terminal and furthermore it will also open the software. One thing you can do is you can enter the Instagram credential but I am not going to do that because I will log in manually on the browser. But if you want to automate the login process then you would definitely need to use the second option. So in here you click one and press enter and what you can see is that it is trying to download the driver of the Chrome and it will open Chrome like this. So I will keep this on this side and this on this side. And you can see here I have well, tried to log in on another account but the account I don't want to use this different so let give me a second to log into the Instagram. Oh no, you can see here I have successfully logged into the Instagram account. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have a email address of a I mean username of the emails of the Instagram account that you are going to accept. So first you need to get the username to a CSV file as mentioned in here. So to do that I will press 1 and press enter and the target email. You can target any Instagram account so but I am going to target this account. Let me search that account and see here. So this is the account, this is the spelling, so I got it, so the, and I will press enter. Now press 1 to extract the followers and press 2 to extract the followers. I am going to put the following because there are a few numbers and I won't get this video over with. So it will click 2 and what this will do is it will navigate to this page and it will try to extract all usernames of the, everyone that this account has been followed. So let's just wait for this account to extract the username of 128 people that the account is following. So as you can see here I have got the message extraction is completed and it has scrolled all the way back to the last account. 
so what i'm do, going to do is actually close this and close this too and delete the log file as i didn't run into any errors so first thing you can see is here this new csv file so i want to show you so i will open it and you can see in here username and username of all of the account that it is following so from here what we need to do is it we need to use these usernames to extract their email if there is an email present so what i'm going to do is do not save and i'm going to run the this software once again but the difference is this time we are not going to extract the email but not the username we are going to extract email so press one and press enter and again let me get this set up and log into the Instagram account. So if you are... Yes, now I have login and in here first we have completed this step. So next step is use that CSV file that we have got in here to extract their email. So we have to press 2. So let's click here and press 2 and press enter. And next is you need to please drag and drop the CSV file. So I will drag this file and I will go in here and release it. Now press enter. Now I will take this in here and this here too. How many seconds we should wait after stepping with users? We don't want to wait much so let's just say one and press enter. So now you can see in here we it's trying to go over every account by of and if there is a user you can see it is actually writing it to the this file this file will be located in here and i will show you this later but let's just wait for some time till the job gets done So another thing to notice here is that if you are scraping too many emails in one day, it will force you to take a break. So in here it will take in a break of two minutes and this will continue after two minutes. The reason we have implemented this feature is because that sometimes when you scrape emails continuously non-stop, Instagram might block you. So as a safety feature, we have enabled this. So you can now see here after taking a two minute break, it is again continuing and it's scraping the users to see if there is an email in their bio and write it to an Excel or CSV file. As this is taken, sometime I'm going to cancel this and show you that how it's done. Basically, you need to actually wait there till it does all of that but you can see in here now there are additional file and if you open there there will be the username and their email so the more you run it and the more email you get but basically this is the idea first you need to get their username and after getting their username in a csv file then you have to go for this the best part is that this file gets updated and now it contains very few of those people that this software has not gotten or accepted email so basically first get a long list and then second use this list day by day and you can see after it extracts the email it will remove the their username from this sheet so it is very effective if you want to distribute tasks to day to day and many days and do it so once it scrapes their email it will delete from this file and save and update so next day when you run this software you can drag and drop the same this file and it will work perfectly fine and it will contain only the usernames of the people who has not been extracted or processed so basically that's how and that's how powerful this version 4 of the instagram email extract type if you want any more feature or if you want anything new to add to this please let me know in the comment section so i can make this of the better point thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel